we are given that the absolute value of fx minus fy is less than or equal to absolute value of x minus y whole square. Now if x is not equal to y, then absolute value of x minus y is not equal to 0. So dividing both sides of the above inequality by absolute value of x minus y, we get absolute value of fx minus fy divided by absolute value of x minus y is less than or equal to absolute value of x minus y. Now take the limit of both sides as y tends to x. Note that the absolute value of x minus y is equal to the absolute value of y minus x. Therefore, the left hand side can be written as limit y tending to x absolute value of fx minus fy upon y minus x is less than or equal to the limit as y tends to x absolute value of x minus y. Now note that as y tends to x the right hand side tends to 0 and on the left hand side the limit of the expression under the absolute sign is equal to f dash x. Therefore, it follows that the absolute value of f dash x is less than or equal to 0. But we know that the absolute value of any number is always greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, absolute value of f dash x is also greater than or equal to 0. Both of these conditions are satisfied together only when absolute value of f dash x is equal to 0. It therefore follows that fx must be a constant, which is the required result.